Hi, I'm Russ Jeffers from MobileBurn.com and here we have the LG KM900 Arena. This is LG's latest touchscreen device uh, with a 3 inch capacitive touchscreen. It's also got 5 megapixel autofocus camera and it's one of the first devices with Dolby Mobile as well. Uh, it's also got 8 gigabytes of built in storage mode which is quite nice for all your photos and videos and that. Um, to start off with, we're just going to have a look around the outside of this device and then show you a couple of features of the uh, interface. Uh, starting with the front cover here, where we have this nice brush metal effect. Uh, at the top here, we've got a forward facing video call camera and the earpiece. Uh, some ambient light and proximity sensors here as well, hidden beneath this black surround of the display. The display is actually covered by a piece of uh, tough um, tempered glass. Beneath the display, we've got some uh, touch sensitive call keys for uh, call end, call send, uh, and also this menu button here, which I'll come to a bit later on, uh, and this pinhole for the microphone. And surrounding all this, we've got this nice chrome band that goes around the outside, much like the iPhone has. Uh, on the side here, we have the proprietary port for data and charging, which is a nicely covered key for the gun count. Uh, thankfully, though, uh, that's not the headphone slot as well, as we've got a separate 3.5mm standard headphone port and quite a nice set of included headphones as well. Uh, next to it we've got a button for removing the rear cover of the device and next to that we've got the power button which also is used to unlock the screen. Uh, on the back here, as I say, we've got the 5 megapixel camera. Uh, it's an autofocus camera and we have a single LED flash as well which can be used for a light for the video. Uh, not particularly bright, unfortunately, but good enough for close-up stuff and maybe a bit of nighttime video recording. Uh, we've also got another pinhole here, which is for a microphone for the video recording, which is quite nice to see a separate microphone. On the right side of the device here, we have the volume keys at the top and the camera shutter button towards the bottom. On the actual bottom of the device, there isn't anything that's nice and plain. Uh, I'm just going to quickly show you the S-Class user interface that LG have put on this device. You know, uh, quickly unlock it here by pressing and holding. Not the best idea is it cannot sometimes unlock itself in your pocket, though very occasionally. Uh, I'm just going to show you this button that we mentioned earlier, this shortcut button in the middle, menu button, sorry, which takes you to this cube menu, which allows you to switch between the four different home screens for contacts, widgets, shortcuts, and multimedia. We're just going to go to the shortcuts menu here, which tends to be the default menu. Uh, we've got nine user customizable icons here, which can be customized to whichever uh, whichever applications you like, uh, and four down the bottom, which stay with each home screen. Can't change these at all, and uh, whichever home screen you're in, they stay the same. Uh, the first one here is for the dialing pad. The second one is for the contacts book. The third one is for the SMS messaging box. And lastly, we have the one for the menu. It's quite a nice menu. We've got uh, four different categories of things communication, me multimedia, utilities, and settings. And uh, each different category can be scrolled across to find more items within each menu. Quite a nice system that's quite slick, works quite well. Um, if you want to see all the icons at once as well, we can also turn the device on its side, and the accelerometer shows you all the icons in one go. Slightly smaller, but still quite easy, quite easy to click. Just go back to the portrait view a second. I'm just going to quickly show you the web browser now. It's a HTML browser, so it uh, can render full desktop pages. Just get to work here. Pop onto the mobile burn page. Got a HSDPA connection uh, and we have Wi Fi as well on this device, so it's pretty quick at loading up pages. Just using the HSDPA connection at the moment though. Alright, we're done loading now, and here's the full desktop sized mobile burn page. It's quite nice, all the images are loaded up properly, and there doesn't seem to be any problems. Seems all very fluid. And uh, this is the I believe the first device since the iPhone that's actually got pinch gestures as well. So we just place two fingers on the screen, move them apart, we can zoom in. And the opposite way, pinching inwards, zooms back out. Works quite well, obviously as you can see it's not perfect, it can be slightly glitchy, but for the most part it works quite well.